Love can be felt in a moment and last a lifetime. Anyone who has been in love would know the highs and lows of being in that state. Drug addicts describe similar highs and lows. Now, is there a connection between love and addiction? The short answer is, it's complicated. It depends a lot on how you define both love and addiction. The idea of love as addiction was proposed in the early 1960s by Freudian psychoanalysts who described love addiction as falling in love frequently as a way to experience excitement and the highs of a new lover over and over again. While there's not a lot of evidence on the topic, there are a few key points worth exploring. Key behaviors in addicts are compulsive behaviors and the lack of inhibitory control where they can't stop themselves from drug seeking. Similarly, people who are addicted to love have a chronic craving to be in close contact or the constant need to seek out attention from their partner. Scientists have shown addiction and love act on similar brain systems. The reward pathways in the brain during drug seeking are very similar to those activated when we fall in love. We can get addicted to rewards, things that make us feel good, such as social bonding, chocolates, sugar, junk food, a lover, even better. So when you're in love, the body releases hormones like oxytocin, which is often referred to as the love hormone. There's also an increase in level of dopamine, a well-known neurotransmitter known to hijack the brain in addicts. A scientific study that beautifully shows those logical similarities between love and addiction was done in Prairie Vols in a research lab in Florida. Here they showed that Prairie Vols, which are very famous for the monogamous behavior, which lasts for all their lives. If the female Prairie Vol dies, the male does not look for a new partner. So in the lab, researchers gave the virgin males amphetamine, a very addictive drug. So the drug addicted voles then started to prefer the chamber where they receive the drug, a very similar behavior seen in both rodents and in human experiments. Then they allowed the voles to mate. The voles on drugs did not couple up. In another group, they gave amphetamine to voles after they performed a partner bond. And these voles with their partners did not show any interest for the drug. This experiment went on to show the specific brain regions in the reward pathway that are altered after bonding with a partner. Which leads me to the negative symptoms. During a breakup, there's a dip in both oxytocin and dopamine, which can lead to what some refer to as withdrawal symptoms. During this period of abstinence, addicts usually relapse and engage in drug-seeking behaviors similar to rebounding or the pursuit of romantic love. Wanting love and affection is a natural human desire. Even though there are common features in both love and addicts, wanting a healthy and loving relationship is supposed to make our lives better, not worse. So tell me, what's your take on love addiction?